Hi, everybody. Today we're going to read Chapter 2 from Gooseberry Park by Cynthia Ryland. And this chapter is called Night Talk. Gwendolyn, are you awake? The dog pushed his nose up against the clear glass bowl and looked inside, cross-eyed. It was a cloudy night and only the warm glow of the gas lamp outside the window gave any light to the room. The Labrador concentrated his attention on the glistening shell lying in the bowl. Gwendolyn, scritch, scrape. Gwendolyn slowly turned herself around and put her hermit crab head out to meet the large dark eyes staring in. Lovely evening, isn't it, Kona? And nearly a full moon, I can feel it in my bones. You have no bones, Gwendolyn, said the Labrador. Figure of speech, dear, figure of speech. I expect it's simply the memory of a time when I did. Perhaps I have even more bones than usual. I may have been a hawk in a previous life. Hawks are nothing but bone, I hear. Have you been watching public television with Professor Albert again? Well, the old crab said, smiling. Amazing birds of prey, if you must know. Personally, I'd rather be all tucked up and dreaming of the sea, but Professor Albert is such a dear, and he does love the company. I take him to the park, said Kona. I try to give him company, too. You try it everything you do, dear Kona, Gwendolyn answered. That is why I like you so. Kona wagged his tail proudly. And here's a picture of our new friends, Kona and Gwendolyn. I have wonderful news, Gwendolyn, he said. Oh, wonderful. First, tomorrow should be a high of 52 degrees and partly sunny. Excellent, said the crab. So kind of you to watch the evening weather report while I'm napping, dear. So kind. Oh, and I do love the weather. I'm nearly certain I was a sheep in a past life. Sheep are very weather sensitive, you know. I didn't know, said Kona. And guess what else, Gwendolyn? Sunrise at six o'clock, said the crab. No, said Kona. Babies. Babies at six o'clock? No, no, just babies, answered the dog. Real babies. Well, not real babies like dog babies, real babies like squirrel babies. Stumpy Squirrel is expecting. You don't say, answered Gwendolyn. Any day now, said Kona. Lovely, said Gwendolyn. She's building a new nest in a pin oak on the east side of Gooseberry Park, and she's organizing her collection. How exciting, said the crab. She's dashing about like I've never seen her dash before, Kona continued and you know how Stumpy can dash. I do, said Gwendolyn. You've mentioned it many times. Yes, I suppose I have, Kona answered. Every time I see her now, she's running in circles with a mouthful of rubber bands or ice cream sticks or maple leaves. The nesting instinct, said Gwendolyn, waving a claw in the air, happens every time. Gwendolyn explained to Kona all about the nesting instinct, and as the night lengthened, the two friends talked on. Kona was glad to have Gwendolyn share his excitement about Stumpy's new babies. Kona's favorite animals were squirrels and hermit crabs. He wasn't terribly fond of dogs, though. Dogs could be rude and loud, and leave it to a dog to tell everyone your secrets. Squirrels never told secrets, nor did hermit crabs, especially ones who had been reincarnated 17 times. Gwendolyn let Kona dream aloud about the prospect of being an uncle. She smiled with affection as he explained the way he thought young squirrels should be raised. She laughed when he predicted he'd have the children catching a frisbee between their teeth by July. Babies were on the way, and it was exciting. Okay, tomorrow we will read chapter three. I'll see you then. Bye.